Yo, my name is Benjamin and here are seven layout improvements we made to Framer. First, I can now hit Shift A as an extra shortcut to wrap layers in an auto sizing stack. Second, I can now use Enter to select the children of my selection, even if my selection contains a text layer. Third, when wrapping layers on the canvas, either in a stack or a frame, we now wrap them without any fill. So here I used the command enter shortcut to wrap my selection in a frame. Fourth, a new zooming preference. Let me set the stage by zooming out a little bit. Using the command K menu, I can enable keyboard zooms to selection. And if I now hit command plus to zoom in, it will zoom into our selected page instead of the center of the canvas. Next, number five. In Framer, when selecting a layer, I can use Escape to grab its parent. Afterwards, your selection becomes sticky, so you can move this selected parent around. Now I can double click to undo this sticky selection, essentially reverting back to our default selection model. As for number six, we now show you the calculated width and height values of auto-sized layers in Framer. So if I grab this frame and set height to fit content, and I then give it some padding, you can now find the actual calculated height right here in the property panel. And last but not least, I can now hit O to create rounded frames. That is frames with a radius of 50%. We even get a nice visual preview on the canvas and holding shift, I can draw a perfect circle useful for things like user avatars. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. We have lots more on the way.